Hi everyone, Vicki Lily here, and we are on our way to Lilydale, New York. I'm here with my cousin Joe. Hi. And we're on our way there, and it is a spiritual community in upstate New York, and it's been around for decades, even over a century, I think, uh, the 1800s. So uh, we're going to take you along on our trip, and it's raining right now. Hopefully we're going to have some nice weather when we get there. So I'll check back in a little while, and stay tuned. Lilydale is a spiritual community located in New York State. Founded in 1879 at the height of the spiritualist movement by a group called the Freethinkers, Lilydale has since become a mecca for those seeking spiritual enlightenment. I've known about Lilydale my entire life as my grandmother visited there on multiple occasions. While there are many cool things to see and experience in Lilydale, one of the most magical is Inspiration Stump. Originally, it was the children who gathered there giving messages to each other, and the adults soon followed. Although the stump has been recast in cement, I saw traces of the children's faces in its grooves. Okay, so we're finally here, and I'm walking through the... I'm on my way to the inspirational stump for the daily messages. And it's a really cool little path here, and there's all sorts of moss and stuff on the trees. It's like this little mini forest. So we're walking along. And next stop, Inspiration Stump. The message stump. This is where people come and give the medium messages. And there's a message session just about to get started. So we're going to sit down and see if we get a message. While I didn't get a message directly, many things that were said did resonate with me, and that will definitely happen in a group session. Just as many of you will get messages through the general readings posted on YouTube. The forest in which it is situated is filled with magical energy. The whole town has a charming and whimsical energy about it. Down here at, uh, on the shore by the lake, it's a baby willow and a, a bigger willow, and I'm sitting by the fountain down by one of the lakes all the way down at the end here. And you know, I heard people say that they didn't, uh, there was a strange vibe here, or you know, some kind of evil spirits or something, whatever. It's like in the 90s, but I am not feeling that at all. I love the energy here. I feel the energy is so beautiful and so peaceful. And this tree over here is so interesting. It was one of the reasons I wanted to film a little bit. You can zoom in. I'm using the phone. Oops. It's got some really interesting... Um, I don't even know what you would call those things on there. They definitely seem like faces to me, though. And they seem like, I see like more like cat faces and cat trees and stuff like that. Uh, the inspiration stump thing was really interesting. I was definitely seeing a spirit standing by a tree while they were delivering the, um, the, the free readings down there. But yeah, uh, my cousin's in getting a reading and I'm just sitting down here, chilling out. And I feel like it's just so beautiful and so peaceful. Like, I, I don't feel any negative vibes whatsoever. I just think it's really awesome here and uh, I really like it a lot. I really wanted to examine this tree closer. It looks like to me there's an owl down on the bottom. And we move up. Definitely some faces on this thing. I love these gnarly trees. Down by the Snake Mound, the Serpent Mound in Ohio, too, there's a lot of really gnarly trees. I think it might have something to do with these energy vortexes, it seems to. Because it's kind of muddy, I might try to walk around a little. I don't want to be stuck in the mud over here. 
Looks like a guy with in the middle there, like a guy with a beard. It's definitely some cool kind of fairy energy. Check the link below for more information on the Lilydale Assembly. Thanks for watching.